as an expression is a Java application. Its user interface is very simple. The left panel contains a command interpreter. This is the area where the user performs calculations, providing the engine with the expressions to solve. The interface is textural and behaves like a command line shell. The right panel contains a notebook. It can be hidden. Notebooks are useful to annotate the transcriptions of the work sessions, save and successively load them. Several facilities are available on notebooks. They are accessible through dedicated buttons in the toolbar as well as through the notebook menu. Finally, it is also available a console window. It is mainly used for error messages. The output currently written in this window is for debugging, and users rarely will interact with this window except in the case a severe error, such as an exception, will occur. In this case, it may be used to provide details on the error to the developers. In the sequel, the presentation will show how to use the tool to perform some structural analysis on symmetric net models. The tool uses a custom textual format to store symmetric net definitions in files. A translator has been developed to export great SPN models to SN expression format. To read a net definition, the shell provides the user with load command. Here we are loading the relay race model. The file containing this net can be downloaded from the displayed URL. A notebook file is also available for this net. Here the authors annotated a description of the model and several commands allowing to compute structural properties of the relay race model. Now just a few words on the first symmetric net we used to demonstrate the tool. The relay race model represents a set of teams, each one composed of four runners, competing in a relay race. The teams are represented by the colors in class C, while the runners by the colors in order at class N. Once the net has been loaded, the user can query the net structure by issuing several built-in commands. Function P and T respectively list the net place and net transition names. Functions I, O and H, given a transition, respectively print the connected input, output and inhibitor places, while command classes prints the color class definition of the model. The tool allows one to perform different types of structural analysis on the model as well providing several predefined structural relations. Among them, the user can find the structural conflict, the structural causal connection, and the structural mutual exclusion. For instance, in this net, structural properties of interest are the causal connection and the conflict involving transition run and the immediate transitions, pass, win, and not win. These properties are useful for model validation purposes or to correctly define immediate transition weights. So, to compute on the net structure, which instances of transition pass are causally connected to an instance of run through the place running, we submit the following command to the shell. Let's spend a few words about the result and its interpretation at the net level. Applying this function to an instance of transition run, for example, the instance modeling the run of the second athlete of the Italian team, we obtain the instances of transition pass that may enable it. In this case, the result comprises those instances where the team is equal to Italy, the runner that passes the baton is the predecessor of two, with the additional condition that Runner 2 wasn't the first runner that started the race, whose identity is in place first. In other words, the team has not run the last section yet. It is also possible to investigate which instances of win are in structural mutual exclusion with an instance of not win. This may be possible because the shared place winner is both an input of not win and an inhibition place of transition win. 
So let's use the shell built-in function SME to compute these instances. The last line of the output is the result. Thus, all instances of transition win are in mutual exclusion with regard to any instance of transition not win. The tool can be used for other purposes. A recent implementation concerns the automatic generation of symbolic ordinary differential equations from an SN model. Without the symbolic method, the process would generate an ODE system from the possibly huge unfolded net. However, model symmetries have an imprint on the system of equations. With SN expression, we can generate directly the symbolic ODEs, skipping over the total unfolding of the model. The system of symbolic ODEs for the loaded model can be generated with the shell command print ODE. Actually, the command saves in external files three sets of ODEs. Each set is based on a different semantics associated with the time and transitions of the model. Namely, they are infinite server, mass action, and general semantics. These files are textual and are expressed in the R language, ready to be loaded in the R Studio environment, which can be used to solve the system of differential equations. Actually, the current release of the tool requires the user to edit the files to define the initial marking of the model and the functions that define the speed of the general transitions, since this information is not automatically imported from the model specification. Let's illustrate the computation of the symbolic ODEs for the symmetry net model of a botnet. To start, let's open the corresponding notebook and load the model. Now we are ready to execute the print ODE command. We are showing on the right the contents of the folder with the symmetry net model, where the three files containing the computed sets of symbolic ODEs will be stored. Another kind of analysis we can perform with the tool is the verification of place and transition invariants. Actually, invariants are also useful when analyzing a model by means of symbolic ODEs. In fact, the technique applies only to models whose underlying stochastic process is density dependent. A sufficient condition for an SN to satisfy such property is the coverage of places by P semiflows. Let us show how to use SN expression to verify that in the botnet model, a given place indexed vector of functions defines an invariant. We want to check that the sum of the four functions currently displayed applied to each place in any reachable marking is invariant. The color domain of the invariant is class L. And this is the P indexed vector. We need to verify that the p-indexed vector multiplied by the incidence matrix will result in the null matrix. We are going to use the tool to perform such verification. We first define a set of symbols for the elements of the incidence matrix. These can be found in a page of the notebook. We do not have to write them from scratch. In fact, the shell supports cut and paste operations. Next, we define the elements of the p-indexed vector of the invariant. Also in this case, we have prepared a notebook page. All these functions are on colored multisets. Finally, we have to verify that the equations expressing the multiplication of the p-indexed vector by the incidence matrix result in the null function. Since the elements of both operands are functions, the multiplication is actually a composition. Also in this case, we find all the equations in the notebook page.
the result is displayed. It is easy to verify that all results correspond to the constant null function. A future release will support matrix operations directly and remove all debugging messages. The complete list of tool features can be found in the user manual that can be downloaded from the SN Expression web page. Several SN examples and notebooks can be downloaded from the same page, including those used in this presentation. Thank you for following this demonstration of the SN Expression tool.